Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Search Tank. Its types, function, and uses. What is a search tank? Search tank is a water storage device used as pressure neutralizer in hydropower water conveyance system to resist excess pressure rise and pressure drop conditions. A search tank, or search drum or search pool, is a standpipe or storage reservoir at the downstream end of a closed aqueduct, feeder, dam, barrage pipe to absorb sudden rises of pressure, as well as to quickly provide extra water during a brief drop in pressure. A simple surge tank is a vertical standpipe connected to a pipeline. The valve might represent turbine gates which may open or close rapidly with changes in load on the generators. With steady flow in the pipe, the water level Y1, as shown in the below figure, in the surge tank is below the static level, Y equals zero. When the valve is suddenly closed, water rises in the surge tank. The water surface in the tank then fluctuates up and down until damped out by fluid friction. Surge Tanks Equation The energy equation for unsteady flow, neglecting fluid friction and velocity head in the surge tank and loss at pipe and surge tank entrances, can be written as Y plus, F times L, D times, V2 slash 2 grams, plus, LG times DV DY times DY DT equals zero equation one and the continuity equation as AV equals A S times DY DT equation two Where Y is the water level in the surge tank measured from the static level, positive upward, L, F, and their characteristics of the pipe between the tank and the reservoir. And A. S is the cross-sectional area of the surge tank. Combining these two equations, integrating, and solving for yields. V2 equals 2 GAD 2 slash LA. SF2, 1 FA. SAD asterisk Y, C, FA S. AD, Y equation, 3, which expresses the relation between velocity in the pipe and water surface level in the tank over the interval from valve closure to the top of the first surge. Equation, 3, may be used to estimate the maximum height of surge Y. Max. 
By finding the constant of integration C, for steady state conditions at the instant of closure, Y equals Y1, and then solving for Y. Max when V equals 0. Since the derivation neglected tank friction and velocity head and entrance losses and assumed instantaneous valve closure with all water hammer effects dissipated in the tank and not the pipe, the estimate of Y max will be too large. However, the results provide a conservative estimate for preliminary design of simple surge tanks. Surge Tank Function When the valve in a hydroelectric power plant is suddenly completely closed, because of its small inertia the water in the penstock stops almost at once. The water in the pipeline, with large inertia retards slowly. The difference in flows between pipeline and penstock causes a rise in the water level in the surge tank. The water level rises above the static level of the reservoir water producing a counter pressure so that water in the pipeline flows towards the reservoir and the level of water in the surge tank drops. In the absence of damping, oscillation would continue indefinitely with the same amplitude. The flow into the surge tank and water level in the tank at any time during the oscillation depends on the dimension of the pipeline and tank and on the type of valve movement. Functions of surge tanks The important functions of surge tank are as follows. It should protects the conduit system from high internal pressures. It should help the hydraulic turbine regarding its regulation characteristics. It should store the water to raise the pressure in pressure drop conditions. The surge tank dimensions and location are based on the following considerations. The surge tank should be located as close to the power or pumping plant as possible. The surge tank should be of sufficient height to prevent overflow for all conditions of operation. The bottom of surge tank should be low enough that during its operation the tank is drained out and admit air into the turbine penstock or pumping discharge line, and the surge tank must have sufficient cross-sectional area to ensure stability. Types of surge tanks Various types of surge tanks used in the hydropower water conveyance system are as follows. Simple surge tank Gallery type surge tank Inclined surge tank Restricted orifice surge tank Differential surge tank Simple surge tank A simple surge tank is like vertical pipe which is connected in between penstock and turbine generator. These are constructed with greater height and supports are also provided to hold the tank. 
Whenever the water flow suddenly increased the water is collected in the surge tank and neutralize the pressure. Top of the surge tank is open to atmosphere if surge tank is filled completely then it overflows to maintain the pressure neutralization. Gallery type surge tank It consists extra storage galleries in it. These storage galleries are also called as expansion chambers. So, gallery type surge tank can also be called as expansion chamber type surge tanks. These expansion chambers are generally provided at below and above the surge levels. Below surge level chambers are used to storage excess water in it and released when it is required or there is a brief drop in pressure. Upper surge level chambers are used to absorb the excess pressure. Inclined surge tank In case of inclined surge tank, the surge tank is provided with some inclination. It is provided when there is a limit in height of tank. By providing inclined surge tank the overflowed water under excess pressure is entered into inclined tank and pressure destroyed. Restricted Orifice Surge Tank Restricted orifice consists an orifice between pipeline and surge tank. This orifice is also called as throttle so, it is also called as throttled surge tank. This throttle or orifice have very small diameter. Differential surge tank In case of differential surge tank, an internal riser is fixed in the tank. This riser have very small diameter through which water enters into the riser when it overflows. The riser also contains annular ports at its lower end. These ports help the flow into or out of the tank. So, the excess pressure is destroyed by internal riser of surge tank and storage of water is done by outer tank. So, it is called as differential surge tank. Safety precaution for surge tank the must thing you should do when you build a surge tank is to keep the bottom of the surge tank full of water. This is because it will prevent air from entering inside. This air might not seem to be a problem at first but gradually as the air would rise it would damage the drain lines. When a faucet is turned on and then quickly turned off, this forces the water to move backward. Excess water pressure in the system of the plumbing can cause damage to a home's water line. All this variable pressure created in the long pipes are controlled by a simple surge plantation which is placed close to the turbines. Surge tanks that are visible or above ground are usually made of steel or concretes. The amount of water that can be stored inside the surge tank is known as surge capacity of the tank. Advantages and Disadvantages of Surge Tank Advantages of Surge Tank 
Detecting potential problems like vortex flow or waterfall. Proofing the safety against outflow from the aeration structure. Measurement of throttle loss. Low cost of computation time. Verification of variance. The possibility of multi-phase simulation. Disadvantages of surge tank. No simulation for wind behavior. No simulation for water hammer. Time-consuming calculation and evaluation. Calibration required. Conclusion. Surge tanks are installed in hydropower plants to reduce pressure forces during acceleration. They reduce the distance between the free water surface and the turbine thus reducing the water hammer effect. Turbine to serve as a supply tank for increased load conditions, and storage tanks in case of low load conditions. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like. Share and do not forget to press bell icon.